There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. is going to be on Lavi Hair, which is Virgin Human Hair, and this, of course, is an international website. First thing you do see is the packaging, which is a satin satchel, and yeah, you know the drill. There is hair, loads of hair inside, okay? So let's just get into how this looks, because I'm really, really excited about this hair because this is one of my favorite textures, which is kinky straight hair. For one, their hair does come in the plastic like this and I do have three bundles of it because with kinky straight hair you don't need a lot of bundles and this is actually a kinky straight wig that I have on too but I flat ironed it so I will post a link the video for this below but this is the packaging and I do have a 20 and 18 and a 16 inch bundles and bundles and a 14 inch closure so this is Brazilian version hair so I'm just going to show you one of the bundles. It is a really great soft texture to it. And I'm pretty sure once I wash this, because I will wash it after I create it, it'll take on a totally different look. So, you know, I always say wash your hair. The bundles are really neat. The bearding on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to say is an 8.5. Only because I can see some of it. It's not choppy, but I can see it. Um, the coils are wrapped really neatly, and it is double wefted traps. So if you ever run out, and you're almost at the end or whatever, you can always split your tracks, especially with kink hair. It does not need to be so close together in tracks. You don't need a lot of hair when it comes to kinky hair, so that is the reason why. I normally only do three bundles with kinky hair unless you want to look like a really big, then that's up to you. Um, reinforced sides, baby hairs, of course, 4x4 four four closure. The actual um, density is thick because it's kinky hair. Um, the knots, there are kind of like a couple that can be tweezed, but it really doesn't matter for me because even if they are perfect knots, I do tend to tweeze my closures a little bit because I like the part to be a little bit wider because it just kind of looks like real hair, you know what I'm saying? So it is the same texture as the actual bundle hair. And I think with this one, this time around, before I even get to doing anything, um, I may just get some hair dye. I'm not really sure, so don't quote me on that, um, because I already did one that was red, and I always do them when they're dark, but I'm not really sure, so don't quote me on that. So, yeah. But other than that, whatever I do to this wig, you guys already know, like... I will show you. They did send me a wig cap, two pieces of a wig cap. Um, it comes with two pieces or whatever. But yeah, so the texture looks really, really healthy. And let's just get on with the rest of this video. Like, yes, honey's color coming through. Now, first of all, I used the entire three bundles of this hair, of, of Lavi's hair, and I did have to split the track Um, probably like the last two tracks. They were really small, so for the last two tracks, one I decided to use box dye with. I just think box dye is a lot more safer um, because it just doesn't really like disturb the curl pattern or the texture as much. So this one, I used some box dye on, and I went to Walmart and I got the dark and lovely box dye. So I ended up getting three boxes of the 384 light golden blonde and only one box of the 396 luminous blonde. Now the one thing that I was really, really disappointed was Walmart only had one of the luminous blonde left. And enough of these so I said you know what I'll just use this color as the highlight so these boxes do come with color boosters inside or color lift boosters which are more or less like a bleach I would think this is kind of like a bleach and you just put it in with the mixture and the mixture comes with a bottle so it's a cream inside of this and you also do get your liquid as the norm so each box does come with the liquid so I did end up having four boxes you know four boxes of these and I really thought it was going to be enough but I started running out of this you know what I noticed that if the hair is thicker you do need more so normally I always do one box per bundle 
So I had three boxes of these and one box of this. It didn't work out like this. I ended up having to go to um, Walgreens, which is closer to my home than Walmart, while I was already dyeing the hair and get some more dye. Unfortunately, they did not have the Luminous Blonde, but Dark and Lovely has some new one, which is their Go Intense. So this doesn't come with a boost lifter or a lifter, whatever. It comes more or less a cream color, so it's no liquid. And what I did was I put a tiny, tiny bit of bleach that I already had inside of it just to make the color lift because I was kind of afraid it wasn't going to come out the same color. And just as the highlight or the over top of it, I used the L'Oreal Paris uh, Superior Preference in the color N Extra Light Natural Blonde. So it did work. It actually all worked out in my favor, which was amazing because I was just so scared and yeah this is the color that it came out so it's all dry um I did rinse it out wash it with some shimmer lights or the Sally brand shimmer lights and yeah it came out a really pretty color so in the back portion right here it seems to still damp and this hair has been drying for like a day y'all a freaking day but I did go ahead and put a left curve part in it and I did tweeze a little bit I do have my standard three combs I used to do four but I do three and I do write on the inside of the cap which company it comes from because it just helps me because after a while they all start looking alike all right yeah so this time around I'm just going to take my foundation stick and I'm just going to dab a little bit right here on the back and I'm going to take this beauty blender I think using a brush is ideal than using the foundation stick you know because using a brush just kind of like gets right into the crevices. Okay, honeys, 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 hunties. So this is like a lot of hair. Like seriously, I have other units. I have another one. Um, not the blondish color one, but the one that's just all dark that I made, and it's three bundles too. But it's not as full as this. So like, I know once I rewash this, it'll get a little bit more tame. Or I can also blow dry it, but I don't want to flat iron it at all because I'm just scared. Like when you flat iron them, the whole entire texture be changing and you'll be like, this is not kinky anymore, okay? The one that I made um, that I made before and it was like that sandish color stone, once I flat ironed it and then I washed it twice after that, it just really didn't get as kinky as I first loved it to be. Really, really hot. Um, I don't know if I would wear this all the time because it is super hot and it's like a lot of hair and I feel like I am doing the most, okay? Take out some hair on the sides because I can't do, I can't, I can't do the heat. And then what I'll do is I'll part it like right in here. It doesn't really have to be that neat. Thank <laughs> you. 
food that makes like a world of difference, okay? Because I hate to be hot regardless of the weather. I hate to be hot. And I'll probably do like the same on this side. I don't really know. Sometimes I'll put like this underneath and leave it like that. <laughs> Spread it loosely and I kind of like spread it open a little bit and make sure my hair right here is neat. A little rubber band. There you have it. So for the texture, it's a really great, like realistic texture. Um, texture. Um, Lavi Hair did a great job with this um, kinky straight hair. Four, uh, three bundles is more than enough, especially because they were like 20, I think it was 20, 18, and 16. But it is a really great texture. and. The box dye really worked well in the hair. It lifted super fast. I normally try, if I want like a light brown color, I try to get like blonde colors. I always use like Cream of Nature or Dark and Lovely and those always seem to lift the hair, especially if it's blonde, a blonde color. You're never gonna get that blonde in a box, but you'll get like a reddish brown or a light, lighter brown. Now I can go lighter with this and I would also have to use another box dye with it. Um, would I do that? I'm not really sure because this is more or less like a reddish brown, like a color number three. and this is like the perfect fall color so I really do like this for the fall so yes you guys yes check out Lavi hair I'll post all of their information for you guys below let me know what you think of this one right here do you like this brand I love to do my hair like this because it just looks so natural realistic and also heat and friendly okay like seriously heat friendly you guys heat friendly i'm all about heat friendly so yes hunties i will see you guys on my next video make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up pass it along to friends and family and yeah stay diva and devolicious and i'll see you guys soon and i love you